I'm downloading CP right now. What am I in for? You're downloading what? Oh, thank God the picture's there. Holy <clears throat> Be you, find death note. What do? Be me, find death note. Start by deleting various powerful politicians just to show the world my power is real. <laughs> Hold all government leaders and CEOs hostage. Must do what I say or you get deleted. Force various countries to enact laws or make amendments that conform to my will. Women subservient to men again. Stop mass migration. Purge degeneracy of all kinds. Establish the Siberian Exclusion Zone. All who resist receive a one-way ticket to Siberia. Use Siberian Gulag... chattel? To produce raw materials for neats like tendies and video games. Neats underclass inherits the world. Government drone strikes OP. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. Come on, man. That would be an incredibly powerful weapon, but if you paint a target on yourself for everyone in the world, they're gonna find a way to kill you. No doubt in my mind, you're gonna die, and you're gonna die quite fast, I must say. Walk into Chick-fil-A in a rich white neighborhood, and five 10 out of 10 college chicks walk in behind me, get in line, and one of them asks me if I know a girl that works at a hotel nearby. Say no. Couple seconds go by. She says that she looks like me and is really cute. Asks if I want to see her. Say not right now. Asks if I want her snap instead. Say sure. They look at their phone for a bit, and then say they don't have her number. And if I would want her number instead. Uh, sure. Couple seconds go by, and she asks if I have a girlfriend. Say no. Line moves up and they start ordering, and I do too. Say the name of my order and go sit down. They sit across from me, get my food and walk to the door. As I'm leaving, she yells my name a couple of times. I ignore it and just walk out. They were gonna kill me, right? Nobody just walks up and asks if you know someone that works at a hotel. Did I just escape some cartel organ farming plot? They've all got a good look at me, so now I've been hiding at home for a couple of days. Pick unrelated. You, you I, I don't know. You might have, uh... <laughs> in a Chick-fil-A? Maybe. Be me. High school. Try to get girlfriend. Sorry, Anon, let's stay friends. Becomes a nun. Uni. Have a GF. Sorry, Anon, I felt the calling. Becomes a nun. Make friends with lady at the cafe near my home. Asks on a date. Oh, Anon, pardon me, I can't. A freaking course she would be a nun. How am I supposed to compete with Jesus? Dude, I don't know. Jesus did something amazing. Have you done anything that can compare in coolness factor to what Jesus did? Because you could be trying the rest of your life. Go for a walk. Walk into a store. Get a carton of milk. Go outside and open milk. Walk around while drinking it. Enjoying life. Everyone starts looking at me. Few people start laughing. Keep drinking milk. What the hell is wrong with people? Can I not drink milk? I mean, you sure can. People probably watch you doing it and immediately think of that scene from Anchorman. That's the name of the movie, right? Milk was a bad choice. Not exactly like anyone's number one pick on a nice day, you know? I, I, I personally would not go around drinking a carton of milk, no matter the day. Be me, gay, have known for years. Parents are very traditional and homophobic. Feel ashamed of my sexuality and never come out because I don't want them to hate me. Mom starts nagging me about relationships. Decide to get a GF. Ask out this girl in one of my classes. Things are going well, and she becomes my GF. She's a great woman and truly my best friend. Parents love her. I'm just not attracted to her. Feeling overwhelming guilt because I'm wasting her time. Don't want to tell her because I'd lose her. What the hell have I done? Something incredibly unfortunate, I'd say. <laughs> um, look, man, you know there's no easy way to get this done. You know what you need to do. Now, unfortunately, you've got a very difficult decision to make. You don't have very many choices here. Be me, 21, living with fiance who I'd been dating for about a year. Think she was 40, but find her passport and turns out she's actually 48. Says she lied because she loved me too much to risk me not dating her. She also lied about being on the pill when she was actually infertile in case I wanted kids. What am I in for marrying her? She says I'm saving her from dying alone and can never leave her even if I stop liking her. She's fat and has no children, by the way. She pays for everything. It's gonna be great. No red flags at all. Do it. Yeah, zero. That's not a worrying situation there, Anon. Open Tinder. Extremely pretty girl. Swipe right. No match. Extremely pretty girl. Swipe right. No match. Extremely pretty girl. Swipe right. No match. Literally the fattest woman I've seen in my entire life. Swipe left. Hey, you just missed a potential match. If you buy Tinder Gold for $149 a month, you can unlock people who have liked you so you can never miss a match. 
Tinder is actually just a massive joke. Stupid green text aside, it is a horrid place. No one's there with the goal of actually dating or meeting or talking to anyone. Everyone's just a jerk. Be elected president with under 50% of the popular vote. Be the most unpopular president in American history. Have almost no political experience. Be called radical, funny-looking, buffoonish moron. Fail major debates, according to the press. Democrats threaten secession nationwide. Riots kick off in major cities across country. See approval rating fall below 35 to 40 percent almost immediately. Get called a fascist nut job and tyrant by all the press. Watch as nation erupts into frenzied political violence and chaos between fringe factions. Be President Abraham Lincoln. Pick unrelated. I mean, I guess. Apply for jobs using fake college degree of the internet. Use ChatGPT to make custom cover letters for every application within minutes. Shamelessly fill resume with bullshit of the highest degree. Use a few friends and my own burner phone as references. Wait for the interviews to come rolling in. Ace interviews after reading over the interview acing bullshit cheat sheet I keep in the car. Anon, what are you available to start? Tell them I have to give my company a notice because I care about their well-being and want to facilitate training a replacement. At least two weeks. But I guess for you guys, I can make it one week. Go into my current job the next day and quit on the spot with no notice. Enjoy one week of holidays. Lather, rinse, repeat with the next piece of crap job whenever I feel like taking a holiday or get bored. Any questions? We're gonna... We're gonna make them give back our past. Take back everything we lost. Good! Let's burn it down! When is real life getting patched? The game's completely unplayable right now because height is overpowered. Height isn't overpowered, just make a charisma build. Be middle school loner with no friends. Close to summer holidays. All students were told to read the book. Have nothing better to do. Read it. Because school is inviting the obscure author of the book. He was the guest speaker during assembly. Principal asks the school what we thought about his book and questions about it. Quiet, awkward silence. People were muttering, nobody read it. Felt bad for the author. Told the author I enjoyed it and answered the questions. One question after another, only I answered. Author was happy that I knew about the details. School staff felt less embarrassed. After assembly, classmates started to make fun of me. Called kiss ass and bookworm, etc. Got the nickname Assworm for the rest of middle school. <laughs> my face when made an obscure author proud of his work in exchange of my dignity in middle school. Children are f***ing <clears throat> monsters. Yes, well done, Slytherin. You managed to obtain the highest number of points by studying hard and being the best performing house. And in a meritocratic system such as this wizarding school, you have every right to earn the first place. And me awarding points out of thin air would be an extreme abuse of my authority as the headmaster of this institution. However, it turns out fame is everything. Harry Potter house, I mean Hogwarts house, wins yet again. <coughs> Gryffindor house, sorry, I'm ultra high. If you read these as Dumbledore, it still makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Honestly, it's such bullshit. You know, when you watch the movie and you see him do that, I understand th what he's doing. I get it. It's just really, really lame. Have imaginary GF. Gives me tons of love and support. Always there for me. Understands me like nobody ever could. Can trust her like I could nobody else. Help me turn my life around. Prevents a metric tone of self-destructive behavior. Never ages or gets ugly or fat. Would blow me every morning if I let her. Hmm. This is all somehow bad and unhealthy because she isn't real. Like, you people always have what seemingly feels fairly normal, and then you get to never gets ugly or fat or stupid. You always have to throw that one in there, don't you? Oh, hey, look. Get back in there. Be me. Be in coffee shop on a college campus. I'll have a small hot... A small hot late. Okay. And a cup of ice. Oh, you want a small ice latte? No. I want a small hot... Why, why do you... Anyway, a small hot latte and a cup of ice. Why don't you just order an iced latte? Does a cup of ice cost extra? No. How much ice is in your iced latte? Half a cup, why? Me, not trying to argue with what I hope isn't a med student. Look behind me, no line. I have time. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. If you fill half the cup with ice, I'm losing 30 to 50% of my coffee drink to ice. If it costs the same hot or iced, I get more drink my way. I don't understand, why don't you just order the iced latte? I'm well aware. Please, I'll order a hot latte and a cup of ice. Please, let me make sure I've got this right. Hot latte, cup of ice. Now you're getting it. Okay. Rolls her eyes. Order for OP. 
I walk up, grab the latte, look her in the eye, and pour it into the ice. The ice cup is full, and I still have 40% of a cup of latte. She looks at me like I'm a freaking magician. This is the type of thing that belongs on That Happened. Doesn't it just feel that way to you? <laughs> be me, be smarter than the stupid idiot who makes coffee for a living because they're stupid and dumb. <laughs> yeah, no, no, pal. Download Tinder. Every girl looks about the same. They all have stupid bios. Every match I get acts like they're too good for me. Finally have enough of the bulls- <laughs> Start trolling for the fun of it. Seeing as I got nowhere before. Act like an <laughs> asshole. Put pics up of me and my buddies. AMG. Pictures of me leaning on the car, etc. Put job down as lawyer. Lie, saying I live in a rich neighborhood. Post pics of random pool with a view. Start matching like crazy. <laughs> Here we go. Girls message me first every time. A lot asking about the car. Be a dick and tell them their tits aren't big enough to ride in, and they're not pretty enough to be seen in it, etc. A lot of them respond with lols and laughing emojis, remaining friendly. Tell me how funny I am. Some offer to suck my dick or screw me in the car or buy my pool. Realize how awesome life could be if I had money. Get depressed. Realize what a loser I am. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. All women are gold diggers and stupid. Yeah, we get it, 4chan. Be me, three years old, at the playground. Girl asks me to play with her. Sure, why not? Mom calls me to go home, grin on her face. Hey, Anon, who's your girlfriend? Embarrassed for some reason. Mom continues to bother me. Whenever she sees me with any girl, she would pull this crap. But Dad does this, too. This goes on for the next couple of years. Seventh grade. Avoid girls completely to not be bothered at home. Do this till the end of high school. Now in college. My face when I have no clue how to interact with girls, I just avoid them. My face when I visit home and my mom asks me why I don't have a girlfriend. Like, parents do kinda gotta chill on that. It's not really cute, I guess. Always going, ew, who's that? I don't know. F***ing <laughs> shut up. How about that? Get drunk. Bike to the house of my ex who cheated on me over three years ago. About to ring doorbell. Better idea. Take out my dick and piss on the doormat. Bike back home. Sleep. Wake up to a flood of texts. Ex sent video of me pissing on her doorstep. Care to explain? Not really. I reply. Turn cell phone off. Be me two weeks into new job in new city. Car at mechanics, so I have to ask work group chat for a ride to work. Coworker says, sure, he'll be there in five minutes to pick me up for work. He gets here in three, then takes me to work. Halfway through shift, realize I never actually told him my address. Bros, how the hell did he know where I live? I live in a building with around 500 other people and 16 floors, and he was at my door within three minutes of me asking for a ride. If I try to think about this as logically as I can, I would assume you guys live right next to each other in the same building, and he's seen you there before. However, knowing exactly which door you're at, I don't know, maybe he snooped the mailboxes or watched you go into your home. Yesterday night, go out with co-workers, take sister along to make it bearable. We go to some fancy restaurant. Don't know what to order. Let's ask for different things and we can switch if we don't like it, I tell my sister. She joyfully agrees and she orders some fish and chips. I order some fancy hamburger with different kinds of chips. We keep chatting, just us two, because she's the only one I actually care for there. Food arrives, it's actually nice. Sister starts digging on my plate. We dug at each other's plates all night. I actually cut my hamburger in half and give one piece to her in exchange for some fish at some point. <sighs> in all, we ate about half of each other's food, which was nice. We drank of each other's drinks as well. Pleasant evening, I would say. Today, go to work. Coworker starts mocking me. Actually asked me if I was in some sort of relationship with my sister. That's so weird, man. Sharing food, drinking from the same cup. They actually try to make me feel embarrassed about it. Come on, robots. I know this is not common, but it's not weird. It's my damn sister. You are correct. It is not weird to have a good, friendly relationship with anyone. It's not. <laughs> sure, it might be a little unconventional, you know, sh like breaking out of the same cup and stuff, but don't sit there and act like sharing food with your sister or best buddy or whoever the hell at a restaurant is and <laughs> weird, because that's stupid. Be me, out on a walk with my BF. We're going steady and I think I might want to marry him. Notice just one little thing. He's not on the car side of the sidewalk. Start feeling nervous, unsafe. All right, Nona, if you're going to marry this guy, you'd better be sure he's for real. Think of a way to test him. Get an idea. Run out into traffic as fast as I can, looking backward to see his reaction. Not only does he not immediately react and dart after me to grab me, but he actually just stands there and says, Nona, what the hell are you doing? Car comes to a screeching halt. The car behind that car rear ends it. Like a full three seconds later, the scrote walks after me. Walks, doesn't run. Starts berating me about embarrassing him in public. 
walks over to the guy who almost hit me, apologizes profusely, saying, I don't know what got into her, offers to pay for the damage. After he's through with kissing my attacker's ass, he tells me I need to see a psychiatrist or else the relationship is over. What the <clears throat> shit are you talking about? <laughs> I really love this guy. How can I ruin it immediately? <laughs> Your IQ is 64. Your IQ is in the top 99.62%. In a room of a thousand people, you'd be smarter than four of them. Is there anything in science I can do with an IQ of 64? It's my favorite subject. I'm sure there is. IQ is just a really weird number, man. I'm sure you'll be okay. If you put your mind to it, I have no reason to believe you wouldn't be able to do something. How the hell could Ryan blow up a panther with just a revolver? And this gets touted as a realistic depiction of war that vets wept at the theaters seeing it. Well, he didn't... Do, what? It's not a revolver, and he didn't blow up the tank. The planes that flew overhead did. Am I dumb? Am I misremembering Saving Private Ryan? Also, that's not Ryan. You know, okay, I see what you're doing. You got me, mother... <laughs> Freshman Psych 101 class, Professor's a fit, attractive guy in his early 40s. Stern, but explained topics well and good eye candy. All the girls thought he was hot and would sit up front and giggle at him. One day, the professor's taking questions. Some guy in the back raises his hand and asks something. A girl in the front snickers at him, and the professor loses his mind at her and starts shouting, No! You will not laugh at people in my classroom! She's shell-shocked. If you're gonna act that way, get out. Get out now. She packs her stuff and leaves. He apologizes to us, but explains that he has no tolerance for that behavior. I was like, holy based. Be Daedalic. Become the opportunity. Become the opportunity. Okay. To create a Lord of the Rings game. Lord of the Rings, rich in characters and lore. Choose the most repulsive and treacherous midget creature to play as the MC. Main character. Gollum video trailer dot MOV. Gameplay consists of press A to climb rock, cancergraphics.jpg, trailer gets dislike bombed on YouTube, Daedalic, I sleep, game releases, goes down badly even with the, the what press? Emergency meeting at Daedalic. Is it Daedalic or Daedalic? I don't care. Must be due to the bugs. We apologize, lol. Since when did video game publishers become so alienated to greenlight this kind of crap? Dude, I couldn't tell you sh <clears throat> Every now and then, there's just a colossal, colossal failure. Biked by my childhood home today, was sold 13 years ago to a Chinese investor couple. Turned into Airbnb. Old neighbor told me it's been abandoned for over a year. Whole property used to look beautiful. Parents took so much pride in our home. Now, completely overrun and falling apart. Treated with such little care that even the back door was left unlocked. Said screw it and go inside. It's all been completely destroyed. Water leaks in the ceiling, debris all over the floor, holes in every wall. All of our old furniture is still there from the day we moved out. Our family dinner table. Dad's old workshop in the basement. My childhood bedroom. Thousands of memories everywhere I looked. Yet it was all so unrecognizable. I despise Airbnb with the very fire in my soul. I also despise how many homes and houses and what have you out there are empty. Meanwhile, there's hundreds of thousands of people out there that need a place to live. But no, no, they can't they can't go into that empty house that's been abandoned and empty for over a year. No, 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 no. That would that would be <clears throat> ridiculous. Came out as trans a few days ago. Best friend suddenly asks me to be his girlfriend out of nowhere. Told him I'm not even on HRT or anything yet, so I'm pretty much a dude. He said he doesn't care, and he doesn't care and he wants me on HRT or not. Jesus. Asked him why he's suddenly doing this. He said he's making me his before someone else does. Promised that I wouldn't regret it because he'll help me become a girl in his own way. Sex. My face win. This feels extraordinarily gay, sisters. We were bros last week, and now he's talking about plowing me, and I'm not even on estrogen. Okay. Teaching English in China. They insist on having English names in class. Teacher, thank you so much for naming my son King. It matters a lot. Oh, you're welcome, Mrs. Kong. Come home from drinking with my buddies, buzzed and getting tired. See my wife walking to the bedroom. It's time for her, too. Laying in bed with my wife. We're talking in the dark, as is our nightly routine. She leaves to use the restroom. Come back's about a minute later, closes and locks the door as usual, lays down in bed again. She likes to sleep with her arm over me and head in my neck. Attempt to talk with her. No response. Assume she's fallen asleep. Start nodding off, brain thinking of stupid crap like elephants doing backflips. Snap out of my sleep. Bedroom doorknob is jiggling. Look at the door and hear my wife on the other side say, Stop playing, let me in. <laughs> Bricks.gif or jif. I don't care. Look down at my sleeping wife. Can barely make out anything in the dark. Slip out from under her and turn on the light. Look back at her. No one's there. Look around the room. Wife starts getting pissed and demanding I let her in. Go to open the door. Pitch black of the hallway. No one's there. 
<laughs> more bricks, suddenly sober up and realize my wife is working a double shift. Drown in bricks I shat? This would screw with me. Dude, if this is even remotely real, you need to go see a doctor yesterday. But like now, dude, oh my god. Go to coffee shop near my house for the first time. Cutie pie work in the register smiles at me after I order. Fall in love. Been going there at least three times a week since then. Always order the same thing so I make an impression. Been doing this for six months. Today I went in and said, yeah, I'll just have my usual. She says, I'm sorry, sir, I don't know what you mean. What would you like? Stammer for 20 seconds, turn and walk out. I can never go back. Maybe don't make assumptions about workers, huh? Part of, part of the job is you know, we're required to be nice. Is this morally wrong? Be me, 24, running an OnlyFans where all the photos are AI generated. Guy asks me to show my feet with you pretty toes painted pink. Okay, sure. Easy enough. Prompting. AI doesn't really understand, makes pinkfoot.jpg. Some glittery crap on a foot that looks like a hand with six fingers. Screw it! Send it anyway. Guy is so turned on, tells me I have the sexiest feet. He's never seen something like this. Won't leave me alone, asking for feet pics all day every day. Offer him $20,000 unlimited access yearly subscription. He accepts and starts sending more feet pic requests. Should I stop? Honestly, get that bag, I don't give a crap. Be a male seeking relationship. Women I meet at work are all in relationships. Women don't go to meetup groups. Women don't respond to apps. Women aren't at the regular bars. Women don't want me approaching at gay bars. Women don't want me approaching on the street. Women don't want me approaching at the gym. Women don't want me approaching at Arby's. What do I do? <laughs> Try Taco Bell. Be me. That. Virgin virus thinks I'm a regular cell. Be invaded. Trollalol.jpg. My face when I trapped him and warned the other cells. Good old bait and switch always works. Yeah, then you got one like this, man. It's always either about girls or weird, obscure crap like this. Fall for a girl, go on a date with her, drink a six pack, sitting on my car. She takes off her glasses and tells me to kiss her. Kiss her, she aggressively pulls me in and kisses me. We make out for about a minute. She sits there in silence, says, that was really unpleasant. Can you just take me home? Dude, what the hell? Be me, mid-looking feminine. Create an okay Cupid account. Spend 20 minutes filling out everything. Upload nice pictures, create a profile.exe, 200 likes in 30 minutes. Wow.jpg. God, I hate this. Most dudes are balding and have baby faces. The good looking dudes aren't interested in long term relationships. Neither are the ugly ones. Dudes start to look more or less the same. Eventually, only start to care about the match score and not the faces. Starts to feel like dice rolls in a tabletop game. Try for two hours. Match score 97%. Good looking, smart. Doesn't want a long-term relationship. Log out. That said, Anons, just wanted to demystify the female experience for you. Hope you have a nice day. Not to mention, mentions it. Needless to say, says it. Not to be racist, but is racist. Thought, he didn't think. Be me, go to park, sit on bench for hours because I don't have anyone to talk to. Notice two beautiful women come up to me. They give me a Starbucks drink because they saw me sitting alone for hours. They leave and I never see them again. What do they mean by this? Good question. Be wagey. Computer is in the corner of the office where nobody can see my screen. Post on 4chan all day. I'm basically a neat, but now I get paid and can't go outside as much. Computer's in the corner of the office where nobody can see my screen. You realize your bosses can monitor all of your internet traffic, right? They can see every image you enlarge and read every post you make. I work for a small company, 21 employees. There's no infrastructure, and I'd highly doubt that Fergus, the IT guy, is monitoring my internet traffic. Even if he is. Hello, Fergus. Hi, Mark. Damn it! Am I wrong to be happy about this? Be me, air quality expert living in New York City. My friends and family always made fun of me for choosing this dumb career, analyzing air quality and going into tons of debt for school. What? Giant wildfires in Quebec bring tons of smoke to New York City for the first time. Everyone's freaking the hell out, acting like this is the apocalypse and the end of the world. Totally hysterical 24-7. All of my friends are asking me about how to improve the air quality in their little New York City apartments. Hundreds of texts per day from people I haven't heard from in years. Newspapers and TV news contact me to discuss air quality. My company is securing three new major multi-million dollar contracts that never would have happened if these fires didn't. Everyone everywhere I go knows that I'm the air quality guy to talk to because they remember making fun of me. Everyone's apologizing for not taking my career seriously. Smoking hot girls are talking to me about air quality, my favorite topic of all time. How do I keep these good times rolling? That's a fair question. 
And hey, if you guys are seriously wondering about it and you need a cheap way to filter out the air in your apartment, get a 20-inch box fan and a 20 by 20 by 1 inch furnace filter from Lowe's for like 10 to 25 bucks. That will last you a while and seriously clean out the air. No joke. Is this ethical? Help! Be me, wedding photographer in New York City. Wedding costs are going up. Photographer is the first thing to cut. Decide to undercut the market, offering AI-generated photos of people at their weddings at a 75% discount using stable diffusion. Brides actually love this. I make their weddings look like their Pinterest dreams. Bride can look as skinny and as hot as she wants. I print 100 photos for each bride, currently doing 10 per day. Wow. I'm making five times my old income with no overhead, no cameras. Lots of free time, talking to bridesmaids all day to make them look hot too. Feels good, man. People who can't afford weddings use me. Look super happy, cry when they see the photos, talks to friend in the same biz. Struggling? No clients. Heard there was some guy making AI-generated wedding photos. Damn it. Should I keep doing this? I feel bad for my friends, but I'm getting rich. It doesn't matter what anybody says, you're gonna keep doing it. And this right here is why so many of us are furious about AI and why there's currently protests going on. It should be a tool that can help you do stuff. All the industries see is that, oh, well, I could put like three words into this program and it'll spit something out to cost us $2 versus paying that guy who knows what he's doing a fair wage. Be me. Feminon living with a neckbeard BF. My BF won't ever leave the house. Never wants to be in public with me. Sits on his computer all day. Ask him what's so important. I'm working all day. Give me a break, Feminon. He's a Reddit moderator and calls it work. We're currently running out of money, and this has a toll on my mental health. I write my feelings down and send it to him. Maybe he'll understand. Left on red. Am I cursed? It's gone four hours since he left me on red. Leave him? I mean, that's always easier said than done, no matter the situation, but holy crap, the dude sounds like a freaking douche dork.